So even I have, I have, and this is a weird thing because I don't generally lead with this sport, but in my life, I have seen us fire Bruce Arena, Steve Sampson, and Bob Bradley, USA men's soccer coaches. We always fire the coaches. And the reason we always fire the coaches is they're not bad coaches. I know Bruce Arena. He works out where I work out. Um, you know why we fire our coaches? Because we don't have realistic expectations. United States soccer wants Alabama football results, but doesn't have any five-star athletes. Uh, they don't even have Iowa's athletes, okay? So if you go look at the top 50 players in the world, take out maybe the occasional goalie, they're not our players. If you go watch Rivals.com or Scout.com every year, who signs the top 100 college football players? You know what? They all go to nine colleges. Those colleges in the end are the ones battling for the national title. You can have coaching all you want. You need players. You need players. You can't do it with average. And most of our players on a global scale are pretty average. But yesterday, Abby Wambach, great American player, retired. And she was on a Bill Simmons podcast recently. And now she wants to fire the men's coach. She wants to fire Jurgen Klinsmann. Here's, here's Abby. The way that he has changed and brought in a bunch of these, these foreign guys is just not something that uh, it's just not something that I believe in. Oh, these foreign guys. Well, actually, those foreign guys, do you know who Apple's bringing in to be engineers and Google and Oracle and Microsoft? They're bringing in those foreign guys, too, because sometimes our colleges don't produce enough really good local guys and domestic guys. The world's flat. We have a couple of players whose parents are serving the military. They're like on a German base and their sons are great soccer players. They're American citizens. Yeah, I mean, they're American citizens. Yeah, Jermaine Jones, he lived in Chicago. He lived in Mississippi. Should we punish him because his dad is in the U.S. military fighting for our freedoms? I just don't get this. Women's soccer, culturally, we have an edge. Why? Our players are globally elite because women here, the attitudes toward women in America are ahead of much of the world. That's why our women win. Do you think our women win in soccer? Because it's just the coaching is un... No, it, the players are really good. If you do the top 50 women's players in the world, we, we could have 18 of them. That's why we win. Because our players are really good. I'm not saying our women's coaches aren't good, but our players are really good. We got some five-star athletes like Ohio State, like Oklahoma, like Clemson, like all the teams that end up in the Final Four in basketball, Kentucky and Duke and Michigan State and Carolina. Abby Wambach, smart person, but it's amazing how, how some of our smartest global athletes in soccer get so parochial. I won't go xenophobic, but very parochial. She continued talking about that one player I mentioned earlier, Jermaine Jones and Fabian Johnson. I love Jermaine Jones. I love watching him play, you know, but, and I love Fabian Johnson and he plays in, in Germany and is actually killing it. Yes, he is. That's the point. He's crushing it because he's good. Jurgen Klinsmann may be the right coach and may not be the right coach, but it's all about expectations. Whether you're a college football fan, you're an NFL fan, you're an NBA fan, Coaches get fired, general managers removed, not because they're incompetent, not because they're bad, because the fans and the media's expectations are absolutely unrealistic. We are, did you watch USA men play Belgium and Germany? We're not in the same class. We slow it down. We play keep away just so we can get to the last six minutes and be reasonably close. If we were aggressive, we'd, it'd be a smoke show. We get whacked.